After much waiting and anticipation, the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to send its very first batch of full-color images in a much-anticipated event on July 12 and will include the deepest view of the universe ever taken. These images might contain the answers to the questions we have of this universe. What mysteries should we expect to get debunked now that the JWST is in its full throttle? What are you most curious about? For this video, together we will dive into the 10 mysteries the JWST might solve and how it can affect our way of living here on Earth. Number 1. Origins of a Planet How planets actually form in the first place is one of the more vague topics in planetary science. Many aspects of the dynamics of the formation of a planetary system from the collapse of a protoplanetary disk are still poorly understood. The James Webb Space Telescope is incredibly useful in this situation because it is challenging to study the dust and gas that make up those disks at optical wavelengths. On the other hand, JWST is an infrared telescope that conducts high-resolution studies of these disks and may be able to detect the formation of planets or even the collision of planets. It would be wise to explain how JWST operates and why it isn't an optical wavelength telescope like Hubble at this point. There are a ton of infrared emitting objects in the universe, but it is challenging to conduct infrared astronomy on the surface of the Earth due to the atmosphere, which can both block and emit infrared as heat and cause interference. Thus, it is best to conduct this kind of astronomy in space. JWST's infrared capability allows us to study objects that are hidden from the view in visible light by gas and dust. We have previously had infrared capability in space, but not at the resolution of JWST. This not only clarifies the workings of planet formation, but also the formation of planets that resemble Earth. Was there anything about the Earth's formation that made it more favorable for eventual life? Are these conditions unusual or typical? JWST could be helpful in solving those puzzles. Number 2. What material is the universe made of? One would assume that the Big Bang which was so extremely large, would have created more types of atoms than just four. But because of the way the Big Bang worked, it was only able to produce significant amounts of hydrogen and helium as well as minute quantities of lithium and beryllium. Everything else is a result of stars' cores fusing atoms. The heavier elements are created once those stars blow up as supernovas or when neutron stars collide to form kilonovas. It took some time. JWST can further investigate how this process works in a number of ways. One of these involves looking at interstellar dust, which may not seem like it would be very interesting. but is actually the end result of supernova collisions and can reveal how giant stars fill the universe with their heavier atoms. We are definitely made up of those atoms. Most of the components that make up our bodies are made of supernova ash. Number 3. Galaxies Evolutionary Process Galaxies can change in a variety of ways. One way is through mergers, in which galaxies crash into one another and merge, frequently drastically changing their original shapes. Additionally, they may simply pass each other by and collide, producing gravitational effects. Even without that, the galaxies we observe, from spirals to ellipticals and beyond, have evolved in this manner from various starting points. JWST will examine the earliest galaxies in an effort to comprehend how the galaxies evolved naturally. 
Another reason why this is particularly intriguing is that it would demonstrate the large-scale organization of matter itself and perhaps help us comprehend even larger structures like voids. Number 4. The Proxima B Mystery The discovery of a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the Sun's nearest neighbor, stands out among the thousands of other exoplanets that have been found. It is also only marginally more massive than Earth, with an estimated mass of about 1.2 times that of Earth. And it orbits that red dwarf within its habitable zone. This planet is the closest to Earth because it is at a similar level to it and meets the necessary conditions for life of some kind. It is also the closest exoplanet. But before we can truly put that on the table, we still have a long way to go in terms of Proxima B's characterization. Definitely helpful for probing this planet and maybe even identifying its atmosphere will be with JWST. But JWST might be able to spot one peculiar thing about this scenario. Artificial lighting. Proxima B is interesting because it is tidally locked and always faces its star. These kinds of worlds are less habitable than the ones we are accustomed to. The planet's surface closest to the sun is probably inhabitable, but the planet's twilight edges might be able to sustain liquid water and life. It may be possible for the dark side of the planet to sustain temperatures high enough for liquid water as well, depending on atmospheric and oceanic currents. Would intelligent life decide to illuminate the night side to make it usable if it were to emerge on or colonize such a world? This could be accomplished by lighting up the surface with massive reflectors, or by lighting up the cities with networks of artificial lighting. Studies of the light itself should reveal signatures of what is causing it. And this kind of scenario should be luminous enough for JWST to detect. In light of this, it is theoretically possible for JWST to detect a techno signature at Proxima B. If this were the case, and given its close proximity, we might be able to communicate with this civilization. Number 5 Ancient Solar System Materials. Because of pressure, bombardment, and volcanism, which are all dynamic processes, very little of the original material that the terrestrial planets were made of remains today. Some asteroids do not fit this description. The effects of pressure, heat, and shock have had an impact on many meteorites, but not all of them. In the solar system, there are objects that are in perfect condition and have undergone little change. Asteroids are widely dispersed throughout the solar system, making it possible for JWST to always find something bright enough to observe. This makes studying asteroids relatively simple. There is a mystery surrounding the asteroid series in particular. This asteroid's precise origin is unknown. It suggests that it originated in the outer solar system based on the chemistry we are aware of, which would make it seem like Pluto for the type. However, it is equally possible that the object is a main belt asteroid that has experienced impacts with objects from the outer solar system. Additionally, it is important to investigate other asteroids and Kuiper Belt objects because they might be related to life on Earth. The picture is really not complete, but it's possible the comets brought the first chemical building blocks for life on Earth. JWST will undoubtedly increase our knowledge in this area. The fact that we have sizable collections of meteorites on Earth for which we don't know what the parent body was is another puzzle in this situation. We do have strong suspicions in a few instances, but for the most part, we are unsure.
Due to their orbits, even some of the largest asteroids are difficult to reach with a probe, which further complicates the situation. JWST will be able to help in this situation because it is in space and operates at high resolution. Number 6. Wild Cards The ability to view the universe at a resolution that was previously unimaginable is peculiar to the time in which we live. There is little doubt that incidents of this nature will occur more frequently in the years to come along with other transient events like supernovas. The instrumentation that makes this possible is improving, such as with the LSSD Vera Robin Observatory, which will offer nearly nightly all-sky surveys, revealing a variety of objects moving around in deep space. The JWST offers a special opportunity in this regard because time and a reaction plan to look at these unexpected events are built into the telescope's allocation time and planning. They can therefore rotate the telescope and take a look if anything is spotted and might add to the data. It will be interesting to see how that works out and what mysteries get solved or revealed. Number 7 Sagittarius A Our galaxy contains a supermassive black hole that is currently devouring entire stars, which is rather a terrifying fact. This supermassive black hole, known as Sagittarius A star, is different from other black holes in other galaxies in that it is largely unknown. The supermassive black hole and its surroundings are actually difficult to image due to its flaring, which varies on the order of hours. For this reason, the galaxy M87 was the location of the first black hole to be photographed, or at the very least, reconstructed. Flashes are most likely caused by brief accelerations of material to higher energies. But the exact mechanism is a no. Therefore, imaging it at various wavelengths is the best strategy for understanding the situation. And JWST will have infrared coverage. Number 8. The Very First Black Holes Kazars and their relationship to host galaxies are one area that JWST will be able to depict. A supermassive black hole from the early universe powers a Khazar, an extremely bright active galactic nucleus. This field of research has already shown signs of puzzling discrepancies because at least one supermassive black hole in a Khazar is much more massive than predicted by models. Keep in mind that Khazars are incredibly far away objects and it has taken almost all of the universe's age for their light to reach us. So, when we study them, we are literally looking at a stage of the early universe. These are therefore snapshots of the early universe that give us the chance to examine how things were then and whether anything has changed. It will be one thing if this supermassive black hole in question turns out to be an anomaly or rare. We may need to start over and reevaluate some elements of our early universe models if they are discovered in great numbers or become the norm. JWST promises to contribute significantly to either resolving or pursuing this mystery. Number 9 Atmosphere of planets outside our galaxy. The atmospheres of exoplanets are still poorly understood. However, it is true that there are any number of potential variations. There are probably atmospheres that are very similar to those that we observe in our solar system and others that are very different. The atmospheres that behave strangely like the one on Earth, where you have anomalous oxygen and methane levels that are best explained by the presence of life, would undoubtedly be the most intriguing. Characterizing the chemical makeup of various exoplanets has so far been the subject of a significant amount of research. However, the majority remain out of our current grasp. 
JWST will significantly improve our capability to learn exoplanet atmospheres, including those similar to Earth, should we find any. However, detecting substances like sodium, oxygen, methane, and water vapor is all doable. But it's unclear how far those might develop and what perplexing environments will be discovered. The atmosphere is containing gases that, as far as we currently know, can only be produced by industry may be the most perplexing. Number 10. The Initial Stars One could argue that telescopes function somewhat like time machines. An object's past self is what you see when you observe it from space. To put it another way, if something is 100 light years away, you are seeing it as it was 100 years ago. It is possible to see objects as they were soon after their creation, just after the Big Bang because this operates across the vast distances of space. Stars were different from what they are today in the early history of the universe. Currently, we observe that modern stars contain a wide variety of elements that were absent from the early universe, which was made up solely of hydrogen, helium, and trace elements. It was necessary for supernovas to scatter heavier elements throughout the universe. In a universe that is only 13.8 billion years old, JWST should reveal to us extremely ancient stars that are far away but as old as 13.6 billion years. These will undoubtedly be primitive stars, but what if unexpected elements or surprises appear? Hopefully, we'll find out soon. Thank you so much for tuning in with us for another cosmic mystery. Please comment down below what other mysteries you want to solve next and we shall see you then.